All right, welcome to our podcast uh, platform. This is Field, Min- Field Point Ministries Podcast. My name is Solomon Oluwabi, and I'm your host today. Well, today we are going to be looking at a critical topic, challenges of discernment. Now, this is stemming from the program that we are just ended on the YouTube platform with Pastor Richard Olarapo, where we talk about the heart of discernment navigating life wisely the heart of this time and it was uh if i can use the word explosive so you have to go there and listen because uh it's the it's the way of life it's how to do life in a great way if you don't want to just pass by uh, as some people will say you don't want to be like a snake that pass on the rock because it will not have a part but if a snake passed on the ground you know, based on how snake crawls, you are easy to know that, hey, it looked like snake passed here. If you don't want to live that kind of life, you need discernment in your life. So I will encourage you that you head over to our YouTube platform and listen. But here we're on the podcast platform site. So I hope that you have subscribed to our podcast, uh, you know, and you're able to get it when we have a new episode available. This comes live every uh, Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Well, Today, we are looking at challenges of the summit, and here you go, Pastor Richard Alaragosa. Thank you so much for being on this platform with us today. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having well, me. Well, we just had that where we talk about the summit, the heart of the summit, navigating life wisely. On this side, we are looking at challenges of the summit. What are the challenges that comes with the summit? And how can we get out of those challenges? What are the solutions to those challenges? That way, we know when we see them, we're able to identify them. And then we're able to know, okay, this is what I need to do. The corrective measure, the things that I need to stop doing, the things that I need to start to do in order to be able to get out of it. Over to you, sir. All right. Thank you so, so much, sir, for having me in again. Uh, I'll quickly be talking about those challenges, and as I'm talking about the challenges, I'll be talking about, you know, the way out of it. Uh, Don't forget that the assignment is spiritual. It's not something that is emotional. It's not something that you can calculate with your physical intelligence. You know, it's a supernatural thing that comes from God. And so the number one thing to do to enjoy the assignment is to be connected to that God. Be connected to that God. And so one major, one major challenge of the sermon is unhealthy competition. And I will say that again and again, is unhealthy competition. I like you to understand that you are unique in the hand of the Father. You are unique. You will not give account for me. I will not give account for you. Just understand that God, what is my lane? What is my route? What do you want me to do? Don't stay in the lane of others. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. You know, we we are in the world today that, you know, it's not helping the situation because they clap for one, they do not clap for other. But don't don't be enticed by the clapping of people. You know, don't be enticed because somebody clapped for Brother B and you want to do the same thing so that people can clap for you. Listen to me. Your reward is not the clapping. Don't let people clap you into failure. Don't let people clap you into error. People can clap you into your death. They were shouting on error. Come on, what a voice. This is not the voice of man. This is the voice of God. And, you know, he was speaking. He was taking himself to be God. You know the end of the story. He died, he was destroyed that same day. And so just understand, learn to stay in the presence of God. What do you want me to do? What is my mission? What is my appointment, appointed time? Where do you want me to go? The fact that everybody is traveling does not mean that it is your own turn to travel. Come on, ask God, what do you want me to do? Many have traveled to the journey of no return because they were following people on healthy competition. They just want to do it without asking God what to do. So please 
Ask God. Don't run into it because people are running into it. He's your father. He knows you better than any other people, any other person around. He knows it. So he knows what he has designed for you. Don't forget, to everybody on heart, that is a plate, like a scroll that you must fulfill. There is a scroll in heaven that you must fulfill. So each chapter, God is opening and revealing it to us. So if you look at uh, the chapter of Brother, Brother B, because ah, this is what he's doing, and you want to just jump into it, you know, your own chapter is there on down, on healthy competition. Please stay with God and let God direct you. Number two is pride. Pride. Don't let pride get you stuck into that position because you have gone far. Oh, I have gone far in these. You know, I will share this story with you very quickly. Uh, you know, some years back, some years back, we were led to start a church, you know, and we started a ministry as a ministry. Like I became Jehu of a ministry. And I'm telling you life story. And we were running that ministry for like seven years. And of course, God was helping us. And in, in a night vision, I saw God appear to me and he told me exactly what to do. The implication of that instruction is that we should close that church. I should come back to my base, which is this church that I am now, and be pastor there. It was so strong. But, you know, I was like, at the moment that time, the church was doing well. And I was just like, hey, for me to go back and start again, it was like heavy for us. But God helped us. And as we obey, as soon as we obey, things turn around. At the time we were struggling, we were struggling with that instruction. You know, things became so dark. But when, as soon as we obey, things just clear up. Don't let pride. Don't let pride destroy you. Listen to that instruction. If God is saying this is the time to turn, just turn. Because he knows that that is the end of that chapter in your life. Don't forget, the sermon is ability to know by time what God is saying. And again, don't get stuck in, in old revelation. Like I said, we, we didn't start the church by just human manipulation. We started because there was the revelation to start. But when the end of that chapter came, you know, we just have to follow the instruction that God gave to us. And today we can give God all the glory. We can look back and say, Father, thank you, you know, for the grace to obey. Don't get stuck in that old revelation. Allow God to lead you per time. God, what are you saying? This is the new year. We are just starting. This today is the fourth, you know, the fourth of February. Ask God, what do you want me to do? This year, it might not be the same way God wants you to run your life, you know, in 2024, the same way you run in 2023. It might not be the same way. Ask him because he, he sees the end from the beginning. So ask him, don't get caught. Don't just get struck in that old revelation. God said, OK, I should not do this in, in 10 years ago. And so I'm still struck in that. I'm not doing it. Come on. No. Part time. Ask him, what do you want me to do? And don't forget Obedience is very, very important in the summit. Obedience is very, very important. I, I said it the other time, you know, your next instruction, your next discernment is tied up to the obedience of the previous instruction. He, the Bible says, it will judge all disobedience when your obedience is full. So until your obedience is full, then the next instruction will not come. Don't think God will lead me in my marriage when in your finances you have not designed what God is saying. You have not obeyed what God is saying. Don't think God will lead me in my career when in your marriage you refuse the assignment that God gave you. No, no. He's interested in every aspect of your life and so just obey and it will be well with you. And again, don't let the voice of men overrule the voice of God in your life. If there is anything you don't understand, you have the ability to go to your father. He's your father. He will not kill you. Daddy, I do not understand that you are saying. Can you say it again? Or can you reveal it to me in a new way? And he's your father. He will do it for you. And lastly, always learn to thank him. Always learn to give him praise. Lord, thank you for leading me. And he will be glad to lead you more and more. I commit it to God and to the word of his grace that is able to build you and give you your holy inheritance in Christ. God bless you in Jesus' name.
Amen. <clears throat> Thank you so much, sir. Obedience is non-negotiable because mm -hmm. if you didn't pass the instruction he has given in the previous time, he won't give you the next one. And That's if true. life is, is in chapters, then that means you can get stuck for life on chapter mm -hmm. one. So what happened? Mm -hmm. You're supposed to have 50 chapters mm. and mm. you get stuck in one chapter because mm. you cannot obey the voice of God. Don't sense. let the voice of men override the voice of God. What a powerful mm. word. Wow. Yeah. Because people are clapping and cheering me on and then mm. I can't hear God no more. After all, people are doing well. I'm doing good. My mm. whole life. And God is saying, no, you have done enough. Let's move on. Let's and move on. Wow. Mm. This is powerful. Thank you so much, sir. We appreciate you for coming. Thank you, sir, for having me. I hope to have you again. Amen. Amen. All right, so stay with me in the studio. I'll be right back. All right, to all of our listeners, wherever you are listening to this from, I'm sure you have been blessed. It's not that I hope you are blessed. I'm sure you are blessed. And all we are hoping to hear is to hear the testimony that, hey, look, I listened to your podcast by Pastor Richard Aladakwa, and this is what has happened to me in a good manner. So that is what we want to hear from you. Feel free to send us email info at fieldpointministriesinternational.org or visit our website and complete the form over there, www.fieldpointministriesinternational.org. And be on the lookout because every Friday our podcast comes out. Okay? Let us know how the Lord has uh, blessed you. Let us know what the Lord has done to you by listening to podcasts like this on our platform. For sure, in the, you will get to hear us again if the Lord starry. My name is Solomon Oluwabiye. Until next time, have a wonderful week, everyone. Bye for now.